Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday. It is February 3rd. It's going to be your part two. Um, don't forget if you're interested in finding love or new people, uh, Ast Astrodipity is a online dating site that uses your entire birth chart placements to um, align compatible partners. So check it out because for the month of February, it is totally free. If you want to remain as a subscriber, you can use my code and get dis discounted rates. So we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Card number one, by the book. You are living according to universal law. You are attracting a partner that matches your energy. Um, you may feel intuitively this is coming. This is a very celebratory energy. This is new love for you and a soulmate. So... Let's just see. If you're already in a union, this can also be a career, a partnership. Um, please clarify by the book. Well, we have a masculine from your past. So this could be a feminine as well. It's energy. There's no gender in energy. This mature man is in despair in this house. Whatever choices, decisions they've made, they're in despair because you have a wealthy man coming your way. This can be wealthy in spirit. This can be wealthy in the 3D, but this is new love for you. This is new love. So it's just past energies holding on and, and regret. Oh, sorry. My nose is itching. Um, with fork in the road, this could have been in the past where you were at a fork in the road and you needed to make a decision, or this can be in the present moment. But when I clarified it, I get this Queen of Cups energy that's being blocked from taking any action against you. This is an emotional manipulator, uh, someone that's immature, insecure, and um, just an emotional manipulator. You have this Ten of Cups to the higher fun. This can be a divine union that's coming and that brings in so much happiness. This can be God guiding you towards your Ten of Cups. Either way, you've healed. And what's coming in quick is communication or enlightenment about your situation okay so let's clarify fork in the red wow yeah you uh have this new beginning you're embracing this new beginning that's leading to great fortune you're on a new journey this can be traveled too you could be traveling uh with this new opportunity that comes in you're highly spiritually ranked high honor all right with mending you are moving on you're embracing peace you're healing then we have a greedy energy someone that's still holding on to that you've already released from the past this person still thinks they're in competition even though they're the only one competing you don't want to compete with this person you don't care you've moved on the truth is being exposed and this person wants to apologize because they feel abandoned or rejected please clarify mending Yeah, this person is upset. They're concerned from your past. They are a false person. They're connected with a false person and they can see that you are in a courtship, a new love that's entering your life. And this is a gift and a blessing from the divine. Mending. Yeah, this person is a thief and you are an official person. You have the high spiritual ranking. You are protected. This person is under judgment. With come to the edge, you are calling in stability, whether it's in a union or on your own, this is justice for you. And whoever it was from the past that tried to bring chaos and conflict, they've only trapped themselves. They're feeling foolish and going through a tower. Please clarify, come to the edge. Wow. We see a karmic couple here, main male, main female, in this family room. One or both are in bad health or will be in bad health. They thought they were going to have unexpected income, but that's ending. There's something that's occurring that is preventing the this couple from receiving the finances they thought they would receive. You are this empress energy. 
and the expectation here is that you will have sudden wealth. The wealth is connected to you and your energy because you're the privileged lady. Wow. All right, let's use the Rider Waite and see what else we get. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? Wow, there was a group of people, a whole group of people that was trying to deceive or to take down a star energy, a whole community trying to use deception to take down a healer, someone that carries the light of God, someone that has high spiritual ranking. What's coming in quick for the Empress, which is you, whether you're a man or a woman, is justice. Justice is here because they mess with the wrong energy. What is this justice? What is this justice, please? Wow. So justice is someone is going to be in regret and I heard public humiliation. So this person may be getting exposed, whether it's at work, um, in their community, but they're being exposed and I heard humiliated. Um, this is someone that could be the person they chose could be juggling them. They could be putting them in a third party situation because I got the lovers here. So I feel like this person from your past that chose a karmic energy thinking they were gonna be wealthy, they're humiliated because they've been put in a position where they're being juggled by the third party with someone else. They're, this is very imbalanced. There's abandonment and rejection here, financial ruin, justice. The other part of justice here is you don't want this person. You love yourself and you have multiple wishes coming in. Yeah. And then we have someone trying to have strength here. Could be a Leo, doesn't have to be. Trying to have strength. They are losing. There's no opportunities coming in. They could be losing financially. They've put in a lot of work. This is someone from your past. They put in a lot of work to take you down, but you're still in your power. You are this queen of wands. You're passionate, you're driven. You're inspiring. Yeah, this person wants to communicate. They know you have your guard up. They know that you're protected. And it's because you know this person has done no self-reflection. They have not healed. And all they do is give you a headache. That's what I just heard. All they do is give you a headache. Um, yeah. The wheel of fate and destiny is aligning for you at this time. You're moving on to peace, a new beginning, and you are calling in a true divine partner to you. I match emperor to the empress. That's what you are holding out for. The real deal. You are not taking applications uh, for imitation. You don't want imitation. You want the real deal. Oh, you're moving on to victory and that's the truth. It's divinely guided. Regardless of what, if you can see what's going on in the future or not, you know that the divine is guiding you. Yeah, look at this. Good news. You will receive what you deserve, which is soul union, divine love. Stability. Wow. And this devil energy is just going to feel left out. They're going to feel like they missed the best opportunity of a lifetime. They, and they did. They did. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Being exposed for who they truly are. Yeah. The blockage for them is this is a slow burn. Going through an ending. Like Groundhog Day over and over and over again. Knowing they made the wrong decision. Yeah. Now this person in player energy wants to, they want to win. They want to compete. This could be someone that wants to fight for you, but you were already chosen. 
someone new or this new person that's coming in, you will choose and it's going to lead to victory, success and public recognition. That's your good karma ordained by God. So, all right, let's get, let me get some of the queen of the moon oracle real quick for the collective. What the collective need to be aware of, please? What does the collective need to be aware of? What does the collective need to be aware of, please? We got peace and abundance. You're sitting in the energy of peace and you're attracting abundance. Yep, you know what path you're on. It's been illuminated to you. Yep, you're attracting what I just said. And you're releasing what doesn't serve you. A couple more. Thank you. Which is the masculine from your past. By releasing this person and having this pure intentions, balance is being restored. You're going to see your seeds grow. That's amazing. All right, guys. I love you. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.